Hey, this is Mark Staples from the Utah Avalanche Center. What we have going on is a really cool process. It may or may not become a problem in the future, but right at the snow surface, on slopes getting some sunshine, the top centimeter or so remains dry and it's actually faceting. Because what's happening is, and I can tell because there's this crust right here, the sun is penetrating into the snow and it's warming up this layer right here. It's melting a little bit. And then right now the sun is moving away and it's refrozen and formed this crust. What we end up with is a strong temperature gradient because when it's melting, it's at 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero degrees Celsius. And then this snow stays really cold because it's losing heat to the clear sky. So we have cold snow on top of warm, wet snow. That's a big temperature difference. This starts to facet. It's a process called radiation recrystallization. In order for this to become a problem, this has to sit here and become weak and faceted. So another day or two, and that'll be done. Then we need the storm to cap it and put a slab on top of it. Then we can get an avalanche. For right now, we're just gonna watch it and see what happens. Oftentimes, big storms come in, temperatures warm up, and maybe melt the slayer, or the sunshine gets strong enough to melt this, or we get some strong winds, but it's a really cool process that's happening now, and we'll keep an eye on it.